All right, so in this video, I'm going to be coloring this lovely snake gentleman over here in the left corner of this piece, and uh, this was a lot of fun. I did this on Twitch today, actually. It was drawn by Max Dunbar as part of uh, Inktober of 2018, and he, he did one of these characters every day for the entire month of October. Uh, this this particular piece has 11 characters on it, and there's actually two more group shots that are not included in this video that I'll be working on one of these characters on uh, uh, live on Twitch for the next uh, several, several weeks. So uh, be sure to look for that. I'll put a link in the description to my Twitch channel. You can see my head yammering down there in the bottom right. But... Uh, so this one was uh, was a lot of fun, and these characters are so detailed, and so I really wanted to take some time and, and make sure that you know I, I gave it the 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 justice that uh, that it deserves here, and uh, and really uh, put everything into this. So I spent uh, about two hours today just on this uh, this character, and I think that's what I'm going to shoot for uh, on each stream is to try to get a character done in about an hour or two, and and some of these might go quicker than others. Just depending on the level of, of detail but um, I started off just by changing all the base colors and to keep these colors consistent I decided to you know work on separate layers for lights and shadows and, and I basically uh, I'm using a clipping mask to contain all these shadows to the uh, gentleman that I'm working on here the uh, shadows are in multiply mode I'm using that kind of light light blue uh, color for that. It's pretty desaturated, not a lot of color in it. Uh, I didn't really want a strong, you know, color cast on the shadows, so it's just got a slight, you know, a little bit of blue in it. But he had several, you know, layers of uh, different armor, different textures, so uh, it was, even this one guy was a good example of, uh, you know, coloring a lot of different surfaces. You know, he's got metal components, in his costume, he's got you know leathery uh, parts on his shoulders and chest, and then his skin is you know he's a snake, so it's his snake his snake his skin is very uh, shiny and, and kind of looks a, a little gross when I'm done with it, but uh, in a good way. And uh, but yeah, so right now I'm just going in putting in some highlights on the skin, and and you'll notice that I'm. I'm treating all of these surfaces differently. You know, I'm not just coloring his uh, skin the same way that I'm coloring the leather, the same way that I'm coloring the metal. You know, you always need to consider, you know, what you're, the object you're, that you're coloring, what it's made out of. That's gonna actually change the way that the light handles uh, reflecting off of it. So I tried to do my best to make sure that I did that today. And you guys always wanna know about the, the layer mode, the blending modes on the layers. So uh, the shadows are in multiply, the uh, lights are in linear dodge mode with, uh, with actually that kind of muddy orange color that I'm using there that ended up being the best choice for uh, linear dodge, for this particular piece anyway. And I've done the shadow layer, I've done most of the highlights, and I'm about to move into uh, some uh, reflected light here and just kind of bounce light, ambient light, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, that's going to be kind of a light blue color uh, because the, the light is a little bit warmer and the background right now is blue. I don't know if it's going to stay that way. So I put the ambient light on a separate layer also. You can see me testing the colors there. Um, but, I, but I kept the ambient light on a separate layer so that if I end up changing the background color, I can change the ambient light to match. So uh, the ambient light, the primary light source, and the shadows are all on different layers on this one. And that really helps to keep it consistent from character to character. You know, if I had to manually pick colors for all of these people, uh, that would be a challenge to make all that look cohesive um, you know, for me. So I uh, decided to keep it on separate layers, which should uh, go a long way to to keeping the look and the lighting consistent from character to character because I can use those same uh, those same layers you know throughout the entire piece. Uh, I'm going in here and adding uh, some uh, more saturated green in those areas where the lights kind of trapped and gets bounced around so like the parts of it's under his neck and and then a little bit of subsurface scattering that's those really saturated green parts that you see that are in the areas where the light meets the shadow, basically. 
So threw some glows on at the end and this is the final piece. So I will do a nice little slow-mo here for you guys to check all the details out. And, and keep in mind, this is just one piece. So there's going to be 31 of these streams. And I don't know if they'll all end up on YouTube. Uh, some of them uh, I might do some other time lapses for. Uh, if you guys like it, I might, uh, I might just keep doing that depending on what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing all of these time lapse. And if you actually want to go back and watch the stream itself, it is on demand on Twitch. So just go to the link in the description for Twitch and go to the video section. And I think it's up for about 14 days after the stream. So if you're interested in checking that out, be sure to do that soon. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.